A colleague asked me today if I had heard of the term necrobiosis. I was like, necro what? But I was curious where it came from. So we Googled it and voila, here's the definition. It's in a great article talking about endodontic diagnosis by Dr. Abbott. This is in 2007 and he's an endodontist from Australia. It's a couple years before actually the diagnostic terminology that came out from the AAE again in 2009. But it's a great read and I put a link to the article in the description box below. I wanted to read this definition to you and hear your comments about partial necrosis or as now you know it, necrobiosis and your own experience with teeth that just don't fit the strict criteria of the AAE diagnostic terminology. All right, here we go. This is the definition. Get ready. Imagine I'm like your teacher. Necrobiosis. A tooth with necrobiosis has both inflamed and necrotic, usually infected pulp tissue. Many dentists use the term partial necrosis for this stage of the disease process. However, necrobiosis was suggested by Grossman in 1981 because it more accurately indicates the condition. The key factor to the spread of the disease process is the presence of bacteria within the necrotic part of the pulp rather than the necrosis itself. I think that's pretty important. It's bacteria. Dang it. The necrotic tissue may be in the coronal portion of the pulp, for example, the, the pulp chamber with the inflamed tissue apically, or the different tissue states may exist in different canals of a multi-canal tooth. Teeth with this condition can be quite difficult to diagnose since they usually present with a mixture of the signs and symptoms of both pulpitis and necrosis with infection. The symptoms may be mild with intermittent painful episodes over many weeks or months. Pulp sensibility tests are usually mixed and frequently inconclusive or inconsistent with the patient's description of symptoms. Teeth with necrobiosis may also have apical periodontitis with radiographic evidence of a widened PDL or periodontal ligament space, which may be unexpected because the patient has reported sensitivity to hot and or cold stimuli. Check out this x-ray right here. This is one of the many cases I've come across where the patient has presented with pain to hot and cold and with a lesion of endodontic origin. I mean, super crazy. Thanks so much for joining me with this little definition. I'd really love to hear your comments about necrobiosis.